Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sophie Society. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. And for this look, I'm doing a get ready with me. It's not a tutorial or anything. It's just a get ready with me. I'm headed out to one of my friend's new apartment. And I thought this was a great fall inspired look with the cardigan, the lip, you feel me? So if you guys want to see how I got ready and just hang out, then continue watching. Okay, so this is my hair, y'all. I've been off for four days, off work four days straight, so I have not been doing anything to my hair. It's literally super duper dry, just a mess. So I'm gonna spray it with some water. actually gonna go in with a little bit of my Myel rosemary and mint um, scalp oil and just put a little oil on my scalp because I haven't really been oiling my scalp like I used to. Make sure I get my edges because I can't be going out set. Okay, now I'm gonna add some moisturizer and this is my favorite um, moisturizer for when I'm not wearing like my hair out, but when I just wanna wear it in a bun or a ponytail, I love this stuff, the Macadamia Nourishing Leave-In Cream. It's super duper moisturizing. Okay, now I'm just gonna get this like dimming brush and just start to first brush it back. Now I'm gonna add my gel, and my favorite gel in the entire world is Eco Styler. I would love to work with them because I've been using this gel for years. And I love the smell. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, I do take a good bit of gel because um, that's what works for me. And this gel doesn't make my hair hard or crunchy, so I don't see anything wrong with it. This is actually one of my favorite styles to do, like a Sometimes I do a middle part or a um, side part or just a slick back bun. It's my favorite to do because it's sleek. It looks like sophisticated. It's simple, especially with makeup. It's just a good look. Hard more bristle brush and then I just start to smooth. Look at that. Y'all, I'm not a real big hairspray person, but lately I have been using the Got To Be Free Spray and just spraying some in my hair. This stuff is really not good for your hair. For the bun, I'm just gonna, I don't do much to it, honestly. Small little bun back there. Okay, now for the best part. The edges, the baby hair, the part that makes the look. Cause this is ugly. Lately, for the last couple days, I recently just bought this, which is just Mixed Chicks um, Slick Styling Tamer, basically edge control. And I'm not really a big edge control person because they all leave like that shiny cast and I hate it. But um, I have been wanting to tr just try this one out because I feel like this is a good brand, so. Further slick. Ooh, I feel bald headed, scaly wig, ain't got no hand of it, jittle, jittle, no hands man, stop. So I'm gonna take this little edge thingy and dip, dip, dip. Okay guys, my bun is done. As you can see, edges light. So, to further ensure the layage, 
I'm going to tie them down with the scarf. To me, this has nothing to do with nothing, but to me, this is like all a part of like blackness and black culture, like getting ready, like tying down your hair so your edges laid all night. It's just certain steps that only a black person is going to relate to. You feel me? All right, y'all, I'm a little excited. I haven't been anywhere in a really long time. Not that I'm going anywhere super duper special, but one of my good friends just moved into his own apartment out from his parents. He invited me and a couple other people over. So just a little something but I just haven't been anywhere in such a long time. So I'm actually gonna be using um, this Marc Jacobs primer. This is the Invisible Undercover Primer. Looks like this. First time using it. So I don't even know how much to use. I'm gonna just do a pump because I'm not even putting on any foundation. Y'all ignore my background. I did not feel like making my bed for this video. Sorry. I always do my eyebrows first just because Okay, obviously we are looking super duper intense which this isn't gonna be the finished product, but yeah, that's just step one. So what I'm gonna do is actually finish doing my brows and I need to switch my battery camera because my battery's about to die. And then I'll be back on the cam. Okay, I'm black and I'm gonna just go ahead and start. I'm not doing any eye, am I doing eyeshadow? If I a little concealer on my eyelids I'm just gonna use this Urban Decay Naked palette I'm just gonna take this um, extra butter shade here and just put literally just a little bit You can't even see it for real, but just a little bit of color, a little bit of warmth in the eyeballs. Now I'm going to take some concealer. I've been using so many different concealers lately just because I've been wanting to try different ones out. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is using the Naked Skin um, Concealer. This is a very lightweight concealer, very cute. This is in the shade Dark Neutral. And I'm gonna put some under here. Okay, and then um, I'm going to put some of this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And this is in the color Caramel. This is the Bible. Liquor store hours. 10 o'clock? I know. 11 o'clock, why do liquor stores close so early? What the heck? To just re-dampen my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I'm gonna just wet it with a little bit of this Evian Miss Water Spray stuff. Then um, before that's totally blended out, I like to add a little bit of a light shade. Um, and this is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. And this is just a little trial travel size because the full size is out of my budget right now. And this is in the color oh, caramel as well. Little caramel pop you. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go ahead and set under my eyes. And what I have been doing, I mix the airspun, and you can get this at Walmart, like 
dollars and then the black radiance loose setting powder and this one is in like what color is this honeymoon and it is an actual like brown color versus the airspun which is like a beige but i mixed the two uh, pat that under my eyeball i don't bake because i tried it like one time or maybe two times and it was it just left my under eyes super duper dry and i didn't like that right now we still looking a little crazy but trust me when i say it's all going to come together so i'm gonna go ahead and contour i'm using the black radiance true complexion contour palette in dark to deep and and I just mix both of these, but this one is really dark, so I just mainly do this one. But I do like to mix to give some definition. Now I'm going to go in with my face powder. And this is the Sephora Micro Smooth, which I really, really, really like. And this is in the color Deep. And it's the Real Techniques um, blush brush, but I use it for powder. And I really like this powder. And with this, I honestly just like go in all over her hair. Because I don't really wear foundation ever unless it's like a special occasion or special event so I just when I say just I mean just got into wearing blush because I didn't think I was one of those black people who didn't think blush was visible on my skin tone but I've been wearing it and this is by Milani and it is in the color Coral Cove and this is a real technique. This is actually a powder brush, but I'm using it for blush. All right. And I feel like you can see it a little bit. So I just give us a little pop. Uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna do any highlight just cuz I'm not in a highlighted mood okay anyways I'm gonna spray my face with the Urban Decay all-nighter spray setting spray once again this is the trial travel size cuz the full size is in my budget but anyways okay guys I already put some mascara on my bottom lashes and I just used the Urban Decay um, Peruvian mascara is it perfect perversion my bad and i'm gonna go ahead first i'm gonna put the anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel on my brows i really don't understand the point of this step because i don't understand like where are your brows going if you don't set them in place where are they at whatever unnecessary step but um, now I'm gonna do my eyeliner and I'm using the L'Oreal Matte Stigma Liquid Eyeliner. This is a really, really good eyeliner, affordable. You can get it at Walmart. Maybe I'll like it when I put my eyelashes on. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put my lashes on. Do my other eye off cam. Oh, if y'all wonder about this little bootleg mole, I already have like a little tiny, 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 tiny mole here anyways. So I just enhanced it. It's not what makeup is about anyways. Enhancing what's already there. Okay, guys. So I'm back. I put some eyelashes on. They're very 
like light and natural. Those are the kind of eyelashes I like. I hate the giant spiders sticking out from my eyes. But I am gonna add a little bit of mascara to the lashes to make them pop. And when you add, when you put mascara on fake eyelashes, it makes them look real. For my lips, I'm doing two Milani products, very fall-esque. And this is a lip crayon in um, the color So Obsessed. I'm not sure how I like this look, but I'm gonna change and then I'll be back for the outro. Okay guys, and that is the completed look. I'm actually about to head out. Anyway, so I feel like this is a very fall inspired look, the lip matches perfectly with this cardigan which was not intended okay but yeah this is the look um make sure you like comment and subscribe 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 and i'll see you guys in my next video